There's a holdup in the Bronx. Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Cruise ships do an idle wild. Car 54, where are you? Congratulations, kids. Congratulations, Vivian. Good luck, Kevin. Thanks, Francis. You're making it tough on us bachelors, grabbing off all the beautiful girls. Well, say, uh, Vivian has a sister. Oh. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> it was such a beautiful ceremony. Congratulations. Welcome to the chain gang. Thanks, Governor. Oh, oh, I forgot to kiss the bride. Come on. <laughs> It was beautiful. Good luck to both of you. I haven't kissed a beautiful girl in years. <laughs> Present company accepted. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Gunther, must you make a pig of yourself? Ooh, ooh, here's the turkey. Wasn't it a beautiful wedding, Sylvia? I just love big weddings, don't you, Sylvia? I must say I had a beautiful wedding, too. Didn't I have a beautiful wedding, Gunther? Oh, she had a beautiful wedding. My wedding wasn't so hot, but she had a big fancy wedding. I'm lucky I was invited. <laughs> Andy and I had a big wedding, too. Oh, so did I. Usher's bridesmaids. That gives you something to remember. It's the one day in your life when you wear a beautiful wedding dress and you're the center of attention. What's the matter you're not eating? I'm not hungry. You not hungry? Yes. There's something about a big wedding that makes you feel really married. Did you and Leo have a nice wedding, Sylvia? We were married at City Hall. City Hall? On my lunch hour. We just couldn't wait. I was in the army then, and I was going overseas. We didn't have time for a big fancy wedding, huh, Sylvia? What are you looking? What are you looking? Did I start the war? I didn't even have a honeymoon. On honeymoon? Where honeymoon? The next day I was on a troop ship with 5,000 guys. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. No privacy. Well, getting married at City Hall on your lunch hour, that can be romantic too. Well, it can. Hurry up. The wedding party is leaving. Come on, Lucille. Thanks, everybody. Go ahead, honey. To the next bride. That's a wonderful idea. Who is the lucky guy? I want to marry you. Me? You already married me. Go marry someone else for a change. Now go to sleep. This is serious, Leo. I want to get married. Look, I'll make it very simple for you. You're married. I'm sure you're married because I married you myself. I distinctly remember it. Well, I don't remember it. All I remember is going to City Hall and standing in line with you with a piece of paper and then going back to the office without lunch. Going without lunch. That I knew you'd remember. I want a big wedding. Hold it. I want to wear a bridal gown. Hold it. I want champagne. Hold it. I want flowers. Hold it. I want my friends to cry. Hold it. I want a diamond ring. Hold it. This was an omen. And this is the piece of paper we held in our hands at City Hall. This is a marriage license. It shows you're married. It's not the same. I don't feel married. It's all right. I feel married <laughs> enough for both of us. In fact, I feel married enough for the whole lot. Well, I want to get married in the right way with people around to see it. Wait till 6 o'clock. The milkman will be. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, for heaven's sake, the neighbors. Don't touch me! Don't touch you? Get out of my bedroom! 
Your bedroom? <laughs> this is my bedroom, too. What is Leo Schnauzer doing in Sylvia Schwarzkopf's bedroom? <laughs> this is a new one. I want to get married. Why? I want to get married. <laughs> I want to get married! I want to get married! When am I gonna wake up the night? One good shot in the head. She feel married. Hi, Leo. Hi. Hey, Leo. What's the matter? You got a hangover from the wedding? Yeah, I got a hangover from the wedding. She's about this high, this wide, and a mouth like this. <laughs> and Sylvia, how'd you guess? She woke me up at four this morning, and from a deep sleep, I'm staring into a pair of tonsils yelling, I want to get married! She wants to get married? Not just married, it's got to be a big wedding. Oh, boy, it's a good thing that Dolan has got that bride of his away on the honeymoon, because if I could get my hands around her throat, What's Dolan's wife got to do with it? She started the whole thing when she threw that bridal bouquet and Sylvia caught it. Let me tell you one thing, that was the lousiest throw <laughs> since Ralph Branca threw that home run ball to Bobby Thompson. Why are you getting so excited? You know how Sylvia is. It's just one of her whims. Just one of her whims. This morning, she got dressed in a closet. Dressed in a closet? That's right, and there ain't no light in the closet, so she came out wearing a house dress and one of my hunting shoes. No kid. And then she wouldn't even let me kiss her goodbye. That's the only decent break I've had in the last 24 hours. You'll just have to wait it out, Leo. In the meantime, she's still there, cooking, cleaning, doing your laundry, isn't she? Only because I made a deal with her. A deal? She agreed to stay on as a maid. Maid? Did you ever hear of such a thing? Thank goodness she's a lousy businesswoman. I got her for only 40 cents an hour. Oh, boy. If I could only talk Lucille into a deal like that. Quiet, Gunther. Leo, what can we do to help you? Muldo, talk her out of it. She'll listen to you. She's always said, you're the only intelligent man I know. No offense, Gunther. Oh, it's true. Francis. We got to help him. OK. Gunther, I'll be over tonight. I hope it works. It better, because the next time she goes into that closet, she ain't getting out until it's time to collect her Social Security. <laughs> Come in, gentlemen. Is Mr. Schnauzer expecting you? But, Sylvia, we just dropped in. Whom shall I say is calling? Sylvia, it's us, Tootie and Muldoon. Mr. Tootie and Mr. Muldoon. I'll see if Mr. Schnauzer can be disturbed. He's in the kitchen, brooding. Uh, Sylvia, I didn't come here to see Leo. I came here to see you. Is it personal? Yes. Pick me up Thursday. It's my day off. Pick you up? Look, it's not that. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Muldoon. I assure you, my attachment here is only temporary. Come on, Sylvia. You can't do this to Leo. Mr. Tootie, Mr. Schnauzer made his bed, and it's right here in the living room. So, let me put it this way. Thursday. You Nothing. can't make Leo go to an expense of a big wedding. Mr. Tootie, did your wife have a big wedding? Did everybody have a big wedding? Only Sylvia Schwarzkopf was dragged to a building he said was City Hall and stood up in front of a man he claimed was the marriage clerk, who, between you and me, looked an awful lot like a second cousin of his. Sylvia. Thursday. You have to talk to her. We just try to keep you from doing something stupid. Ah, you men, you all stick together. <laughs> the subject is closed. I shall tell the master of the house of your presence. <laughs> Mr. Schnauzer, you have company. I hate sneaky employers. <laughs> see? You see? How do you like my maid? Leo, she won't listen to us. Oh, oh, what is it? Lucia. She'll listen to Lucia. You think so? Lucilla's a best friend. She always listens to Lucia. That's right. Won't be the first time that Lucille talks Sylvia out of some scatterbrained idea. Do you remember the time she talked her out of entering that Mrs. America contest? Tootie, if you can swing this. 
Hello? Lucille? Lucille, darling, your best friend Sylvia is about to make a fool of herself. She wants to get married again. Well, I never heard of anything so ridiculous and... Of course I'll talk to her. Imagine making Leo go to the expense of a fancy wedding and she'll be the laughing stock of the Bronx. Don't worry, Gunther. I'll invite her over to the house tomorrow and I'll talk some sense into her head. Lucille, did you talk? And I want to have all the pie cake in the meat for Oh, hello, Gunther. Doesn't Sylvia look wonderful in my old wedding gown? <laughs> all we had to do was let the seams out a little. Lucille, I want to talk to you. Not now, Gunther. I'm too excited. It better be now before it's too late. Guess what happened? Sylvia just asked me to be her matron of honor. <laughs> Gunther, I've never been a matron of honor in my whole life. <laughs> matron of honor? Lucille, you won't be able to be a matron of honor. Why not? Because the day of the wedding, Leo Schnauz is going to be in Sing Sing. In Sing Sing? Yeah, for murdering me. Oh, don't be silly, Gunther. Leo will come around. Now, what shall I wear, beige or green? When Leo comes around, you better be wearing black, because you're going to be a widow. Lucille, you promised me you're going to keep her out of this. Why, yeah. Sylvia, I have to talk to you. Oh, before you say anything, there's something I want to ask you, Gunther. What is it? Well, since I don't have a father, will you give me away? Oh, well, I promise Leo. You, you want me to give you away? Well, I've always admired you so much, Gunther. Me, the father of the bride? Oh, Gunther, isn't it exciting? Me, the matron of honor, and you, the father of the bride. The father of the bride. Why, it's, it's just like being Sylvia's parents. Yeah, Sylvia's parents. Then you'll give me away? Anything my little baby girl wants, she could have. Anything for my little baby girl. Then will you see Leo tomorrow? Leo? Uh, what do I care what Leo Schnauzer thinks? He's not good enough for my daughter. Oh, <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Schnauzer. I want to thank you for giving me the afternoon off so I could have some time with my good friend, Mrs. Tootie. Think nothing of it. I would have been here sooner, but I had to stop off at the YWCA. Excuse me, uh, Miss Sylvia. What were you doing at the YWCA? I went there to take a shower. I'll go get dinner. Uh, you went to the YWCA to take a shower? <laughs> we have a perfectly good shower right here at home. Well, Mr. Schnauzer, I thought you might come home early, unexpectedly, and the bathroom door doesn't lock. <laughs> what a calamity if I came home while you were taking a shower. Now, look, Sylvia, enough is enough. You talked to Lucille about this crazy idea of getting married again? That's all we talked about. Good. What did Lucille say? She said she'd wear beige. Beige? What beige? Where beige? How beige? As my matron of honor. Matron of honor? <laughs> Wait till Tony hears about this. You mean daddy? <laughs> daddy? Who is daddy? Gunther's giving me away. He's acting father of the bride. Gunther Tony is giving you away? <laughs> The same Gunther Tootie who was married to the same Lucille who was going to talk you out of the same idiocy? What is he going to wear to the wedding? His Benedict Arnold costume? <laughs> Mr. Schnauzer, if you have anything to discuss about the wedding, take it up with Dad. Now, I'll not only take it up, I'm going to end it here. There's going to be no wedding, did you hear me? Because you're married. Married. I don't feel married. I don't care how you feel. There's a wedding license and that shows you're married. All I'm asking is a simple, fancy wedding. I'll give you a nice, cheap divorce. I should have married Sam Stetzel. He was in the produce business. He wanted to give me a diamond ring. Call him up. Maybe he still has it. Maybe I will. If it's a diamond, it keeps. Even if the vegetables probably smell a little by now. Uh, if I'd married Sam Stetzel, I'd have had a gorgeous wedding. I told you. Call Sam up. Maybe he's not doing anything and he wants to get married. Now, enough is enough. We're husband and wife, and the husband wants to eat. Bring me my dinner. It's right in front of you. <laughs> What's that? Shredded wedding license. Shredded wedding license? That's right. I had it for lunch. You'll have it again. 